Ismail Ahmad, who was born blind, says playing the palindag is an escape from the violence of daily life. He fled the village of Mamasapano, plagued by fighting between armed groups. Ismail is one of the millions of Moro Muslims who remain hopeful they will be able to return to their birthplace. Moro Islamic Liberation Front Commander Garex Aguila feels that may happen soon for him too. The rebel, who's been fighting Philippine government forces for more than 30 years, says he's finally ready to lay down his weapons. We will strip off the chance to live a life in peace in our own Bangsamoro homeland. Most of the Filipinos never saw us as one of them. In their eyes, we are enemies. Our parents didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice but to fight back. These fighters say they fear a repeat of atrocities committed against their own people. We accept that this is more than just a job that we took. It is a struggle. It may take a lifetime, but we are ready for it. The MILF is the largest armed group in Southeast Asia that has been fighting for greater autonomy for more than 40 years. At least 100,000 Filipinos died in the rebellion and millions lost their homes. After many rounds of peace talks with previous administrations, both sides finally reached an agreement that Congress in Manila has approved. A lasting peace is finally a possibility. The Bangsamoro Basic Law will establish a more substantially autonomous territory for the predominantly Muslim Moro people. They will have their own government, their own parliament, and a justice system incorporating Islamic law. The regional government will get 75% of the territory's revenue and 5% of the annual revenue of the Philippines. However, government leaders in Manila will retain control over the territory's police and armed forces and rebel forces will gradually be decommissioned to reduce the risk of further rebellions. Implementation of the peace agreement is the most critical part. Disbanding and compensating more than 30,000 fighters is expected to be complicated in the region rife with armed groups. Previous peace agreements with other rebel groups here have failed, resulting in the formation of splinter groups and even more violence. The previous failures are cause for the MILF fighters to be wary. A referendum on the new laws due to be held before the end of the year. Many here are cautiously optimistic that peace has finally arrived. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Cotabato City, Southern Philippines.